My name is Sean Smith. I'm the executive chef of the Bay Club. And today I will be cooking tenderloin, skewered tequila lime shrimp, and beer battered onion rings. Start with a 10 ounce tenderloin. We are gonna season, toast your salt generously. Add some uh, cracked black, black pepper. Get our cast iron going. We're gonna use canola oil. Wait for our pan to heat up. We're gonna start with some sides here. We're gonna use some marble fingerling potatoes, Peruvians, rosettes, and fingerlings. Wait for our pan to come up a little bit. We don't want our pan to get, or start, our, sorry, our tenderloin cold because uh, basically you'll be steaming the tenderloin. That's no good. You want to get a good sear. That's called the Millar reaction. Add our fingerlings to our pan. These fingerling potatoes were um, cooked in duck confit to soften the potato and to get us ready for a sear. Tenderloin, we're going to put pepper side down. That's a good sign. We're going to let that sear for about three to four minutes to make a nice crust. Cast iron skillet cooks evenly and uh, retains good amount of heat. Back to our fingerling potatoes. So our fingerling potatoes, we're going to put them face down inside where they were cut. And this looks like a healthy portion. So we're going to have a moderate heat until that comes up to get us some decent color. And then we're going to place that in the oven for about, I don't know, six, seven minutes on 350. Here we have some butter down. We have some marinated um, 1620 shrimp that have been peeled into vein. Uh, they're marinated in garlic, basil, uh, parsley, and olive oil. We're moving our potatoes a little bit. We don't want them to stick. And just make sure they're on that cut side so they get a decent sear on them. You don't want them overlapping. Looks like our tenderloin's been taken to the pan pretty well. You don't want to prematurely move the tenderloin, um, otherwise it can stick. And you don't really want to lift the tenderloin up because that will uh, basically get rid of the press that you're trying to make. Just by moving it kind of side to side, building that crust, you can kind of see a little bit of the crust starting to come up. We have some grilled tortillas. And we're just waiting for them to get a little bit of color on them. These will be based with um, Lunazul Tequila Blanco. And that will basically be the, um, the, the basting for the shrimp. Looks like our tenderloin is ready to get turned. We want that nice, nice golden brown sear. Um, if it's been too long, more than likely it'll turn gray. That's no good. So side A is obviously beautifully seared. Now it's on to side B. We're gonna give that about two minutes, and then we're gonna finish it in the convection oven. Now, fingerling should be golden brown, a little bit on the sides, on the edges. That's really good. So we're just gonna let that sleep in the oven for a little bit. Now we're gonna start our demi-gloss. We're gonna use some cold chicken stock. Demi-gloss, which is half brown stock, half espanol, reduced down to about half. Adding the uh, chicken stock makes the, it dilutes the demi-gloss and also makes the viscosity of the sauce thinner without losing the flavor. We're gonna put that on low heat. And now with our tenderloin. Pop this guy in for about, let's say, five minutes. For about two minutes on our shrimp. Stir, stir, stir with your reel. Or sorry, your demi gloss. We also, over here, we have our uh, beer battered onion rings. Only use River Stick beer. Local brewery right down the street. So we have our shrimp right here. We're gonna put our 
shrimp right onto our slaw. We're going to put our uh, tortillas right here. Garnish that with a little uh, bit of lime and some lemon. We're going to use a little bit of our pico on the top. Some uh, acid, some acidic. We have our cojija cheese right over the top. Pulpe aioli. Scallions, fresh, of course. And that is our skewered tequila lime shrimp. We're going to start our vegetable for the tenderloin dish. Use a little bit of butter. We're going to take some uh, noodle zucchini right into the pan. A little bit of salt. We don't want to um, go too hard on the pan and sear our vegetable. We're going for more contrast than anything else. So for our tenderloin, we're going for a warm center. That feels about right. We're gonna let that rest. And we're gonna get back to our vegetables. Add some shaved asparagus. Add some broccoli. Again, our vegetables more for contrast. So we're gonna add some shaved carrot. Earthy tones, earthy tones. A little bit more salt. And over here we have our Onion rings, the exterior, nice and crispy. Humongous, obviously. Add a little bit of herbs over the top of it. And a uh, side of blue cheese and blue sauce. We have our fingling potatoes. And as you can see, beautifully golden brown. That's what we're going for. Our sauce, the viscosity is absolutely tremendous. That's exactly what we're going for. We're gonna shut this guy off. And we're gonna start playing. Get our earth tones right here. Mother Nature is the artist, I'm merely the mechanic. Tenderloin over the top. Base with some Denny Lux. Herbs. Truffle oil. And that is our cast iron tenderloin. All right, we have our skewered tequila lime shrimp with our, starting from top to bottom, I guess, with our cohesion cheese, our pico de gallo, uh, screw shrimp, obviously. Um, we have, underneath that is our slaw, which has uh, corn, black bean, uh, knock cham. Then we have our lemon lime and our brittle tortilla. Over here from top to bottom, we have our house-made demi-gloss, our cast iron seared tenderloin, our roasted marble fingerling potatoes, and our vegetables. And then we have our crispy uh, beer battered onion rings with a blue cheese dipping sauce.